Now let's work out the first question on interference. Two coherent sources of intensities I and 4I produce interference pattern on a screen. Calculate the intensities at points on the screen where the phase difference is pi by 2 and the path difference is lambda. Now dear students as we have already discussed the intensity or the resultant intensity at any point on the screen is given by an expression IR is equal to I1 plus I2 plus 2 times root of I1 I2 into cos phi where I1 and I2 are the individual intensities of the incident light and phi is the phase difference between the two interfering light waves. Here I1, A, I1 and I2 are I and 4I respectively. These two are the individual intensities. Let me substitute them I plus 4I plus 2 times root of I into 4I into cos of in the first case, let me call it as case A, the phase difference is given to be pi by 2 and this is equal to 5i plus cos pi by 2, cos 90 is 0, so the entire term, the second term gets to 0, so the resultant intensity is just 5i. Going to the second part, in the second part it is given the path difference instead of phase difference let me denote path difference by delta which is given by lambda but you can always convert this path difference into phase difference they are related by the relation the phase difference phi is given by phi is equal to 2 pi by lambda into the path difference delta and this problem path difference is given to be lambda therefore phi is equal to 2 pi by lambda times lambda therefore phi is equal to 2 pi now i'll substitute in the resultant intensity expression so i r is equal to i1 plus i2 plus 2 root i1 i2 cos phi so i1 i2 will remain the same that is i and 4i respectively plus 2 into i into 4i is root of 4i square into cos 2pi right this is 5i plus 2 into 2i into cos of 2pi is 1 so this is 5i plus 4i so the resultant intensity at that point is 9i Now let's work out one more question on interference. Two beams of light having intensities I and 4I interfere to produce a fringe pattern on screen. Phase difference between the beams is pi at point A and 3 pi by 2 at point B. Find the difference between the resultant intensities at A and B. Now it is given that at point A the phase difference is pi whereas at point B the phase difference is 3 pi by 2. Now all we have to do in this problem is to find the intensity at A and at B then take the difference that's it and we'll have to make use of uh, the resultant intensity expression IR is equal to I1 plus I2 plus 2 times root of i1 i2 into cos phi so i1 and i2 are given by i and 4i respectively therefore this is i plus 4i plus 2 into i into 4i times cos pi cos pi is minus 1 this is 5i plus 2 times 4i square under root will give me 2i into cos pi is minus 1. So this is 5i minus 4i. So the resultant intensity at point A is simply i. This is at A. Now going to point B. Again using the same formula ir is equal to i1 plus i2 plus 2 root i1 i2 into cos phi i plus 4i plus 
plus 2 times i into 4i let me write it directly as 2i because root of 4i square is 2i into cos of 3 pi by 2 so this is 5i plus 4i times cos 3 pi by 2 is cos 270 is simply 0 so the second term turns out to be 0 therefore resultant intensity at point B will be just 5i so I'll have to take the difference between these two intensities I'll call this as uh, I a and this as I b for the time being I want the difference in their intensities which is I b minus I a is equal to phi I minus I therefore 4 I is the difference in their intensities at the two points a and b In an Young's double slit experiment, the distance between the two slits is found to be 0.5 millimeter and the screen is placed 1.2 meter away from the double slits. If the separation between any two bright fringes is 1.44 millimeter, find the wavelength of the light used. See, this problem is simply based on the formula, which is the expression for the fringe width, which is beta is equal to lambda into d by d. Let me write down the data given first. The separation between the two slits, which is denoted always by small d, is given to be 0 0.5 millimeter, which can be written as 5 into 10 power minus 4 meter. And the screen is placed, the distance of the screen is represented by capital D, which is 1.2 meter away from the double slits. The separation between any two bright fringes students should know that the separation between any two bright fringes or any two dark fringes is nothing but the fringe width so you can always give a symbol beta to fringe width it is given directly as 1.4 let me write it as into 10 power minus 3 meter now we are supposed to find out the wavelength lambda of the incident light so the formula directly will help me to solve for lambda the expression for fringe width is given by beta is equal to lambda into capital D divided by small d where capital D is the distance of the screen from the double slits and small d is the slit separation so I can always obtain an expression for lambda from this which is beta times small d divided by capital D where beta is 1.44 into 10 power minus 3 into small d is 5 into 10 power minus 4 in meter divided by capital D is 1.2 you can simplify without the help of a calculator that uh, this 1.2 gets cancelled with this 1.44 probably since it is a square of uh, 1.2 this is 1.2 times and later on this is just the product of 1.2 and 5 is 6 into 10 power minus 7 of a meter is your wavelength required see you can always write the all different forms of the expected answer lambda can be written as 6 into 10 power minus 7 of a meter or you can express the same thing in nanometers which is 600 nanometer or the same thing can also be expressed in terms of angstroms this is 6000 angstrom now let's take up the next question in an Young's double slit experiment while using light of wavelength 6600 angstrom the fringe width is found to be 0 0.6 into 10 power minus 3 meter if the distance between the slits is reduced to one third the initial value what should be the wavelength of light to get fringes 1.5 millimeter wide dear students this is an important type of problems where there will be two different cases explained and there is an unknown to be determined in one of those two cases. Let me write the given data into two different cases. That is, in the first case, the data are like this. The wavelength of light used is, let me call it as lambda 1, is 6600 angstrom. Then, the fringe width in the first case, let me write it as beta 1, is 0 0.6 into 10 power minus 3 
can be written as 6 into 10 power minus 4 of a meter. If the distance between the slits is reduced to one third, now this will be the second case. So in the second case, the separation between the slits, that is, which was D1 in the first case, let me write D1 equal to simply D. But in the second case, the same D, which I'll write as D2 is reduced to one third the original value, that is D by 3. Now, what should be the wavelength of light in the second case? Let me put it as lambda 2 and to get fringes of 1.5 millimeter wide, that is here beta 2 is given to be 1.5 millimeter. Right. So, for such problems, you'll have to make use of the expression for fringe width, which is given by beta is equal to lambda d by d. Now since I need the wavelength, this expression can be expressed in terms of lambda which is equal to beta times d by d. So I can always write lambda 2 by lambda 1 using the above equation. It has to be beta 2 by beta 1 into d2 by d1 into d1 by d2. I hope you know how to write these expressions. So, beta 2 is the fringe width in the second case, it is given to be 1.5 into 10 power minus 3, whereas beta 1 is 6 into 10 power minus 4 into d2 is d by 3 divided by d1 is simply d into d1. Since no information is given about the distance of the screen, we can assume that that remains same in both the cases. You can write simply d which gets obviously cancelled and small d also gets cancelled here. You get, I can, I can cancel this 1.5 with the 6 4 times and now lambda 2 by lambda 1 is equal to 1 by 12 and there is 10 in numerator. Lambda 2 is equal to 10 by 12 times lambda 1. So this is 5 by 6 times 6600 angstrom which can be written as 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 7 meter. So you can cancel this once again one time and this is 1.1. .1. So this will be equal to 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 meter is the new wavelength to be used and you can always express it in terms of either nanometer or angstrom as already explained that is lambda 2 in nanometer will be 550 and in angstrom this can be written as 5500 angstrom. Let's go to the next question. In Young's double slit experiment, what is the intensity at a point on a screen where the two waves arrive having a phase difference of 60 degree, 90 degree and 120 degree? Assume that the intensity of each source is I naught. Dear students, in Young's double slit experiment, if the two interfering waves have equal intensity, say I naught, then intensity at any point on the screen is given by the formula i is equal to 4 i naught into cos square phi by 2 where phi is the phase difference between the two interfering waves here in this problem there are three cases mentioned where the phase difference has got three different values. Let me take the first case where phase difference phi is equal to 60 degree. Let me just substitute in the formula i is equal to 4 i naught cos square phi by 2 is 60 by 2 4 i naught cos square 30 30 in degree 4 i naught 
cos 30 is root 3 by 2 the square of which comes out to be 3 by 4 so this is 3i naught in the second case phase difference is given to be 90 degree let's just substitute in the same formula i is equal to 4 i naught cos square 90 by 2 this is 4 i naught cos square 45 degree cos 45 is 1 by root 2 whole square of which is 1 by 2 so this is equal to 2 i naught at this point the third case phase difference is 120 degree following the same procedure i is equal to 4 i naught cos square 120 by 2 4 i naught into cos square 60 cos 60 is half cos square 60 is 1 by 4 therefore resultant intensity at that point is simply i naught so as phase difference between the two interfering waves changes you can see that the intensity keeps on changing along the screen here is the next question two coherent sources of intensity ratio 16 is to 1 produce interference fringes calculate the ratio of intensity of maxima and minima in the fringe system now dear students I request students to solve more number of such problems since this is an important type of problem where they will give you the ratio of maxima to minima intensity and you are supposed to find out the individual intensities or they will give you the ratio of individual intensities you are supposed to find out the ratio of maxima to minimum intensity or the ratio of the amplitudes or the ratio of the slit widths now the ratio of individual intensities that is i1 by i2 is given to be 16 divided by 1 and we are supposed to find out the ratio of maximum to minimum intensity okay we know that there is a relation between intensity and amplitude they are related by intensity of a wave is directly proportional to square of the amplitude therefore you can always write the intensity ratio as equal to the ratio of the squares of the respective amplitudes this can also be written further as the ratio of the slit widths which is not required in this problem now i1 by i2 is equal to a1 square by a2 square this is equal to 16 divided by 1 from which i can calculate the ratio of amplitudes that is a1 by a2 is equal to 4 by 1 or in other words a1 is equal to 4 times a2 so i'll keep this result as it is now I'll take the expression for I max to I min. We know that the maximum intensity at any point on the screen is given by A1 plus A2 the whole square whereas the minimum intensity at any point on the screen is given by A1 minus A2 whole square. When I take the ratio A1 plus A2 whole square divided by A1 minus A2 whole square is your I max to I min ratio. Now A1 is expressed in terms of A2, this is 4A2 plus A2, the whole square divided by 4A2 minus A2, the whole square, this is 5A2, the whole square which comes out to be 25A square divided by 3A2 whole square is 9A square, therefore this is 25 divided by 9, therefore I max to I min ratio is... 25 is to 9.